Brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's another show from the 2014 Women's College World Series. Hello, welcome to the uh, 2014 Women's College World Series. Uh, with us is Florida. To my right, head coach Tim Walton, uh, Hannah Rogers, Christy Merritt, and Chelsea Harden. And then to my left is Aubrey Monroe. Um, start with opening statements, and then, and then before we begin, just uh, raise your hand, wait for the mic to get to you, and please state your name and affiliation. Thank you. Well, first of all, you know, congratulations to Baylor. I thought uh, a very good, very good super region we were watching, uh, you know, as we were waiting through some rain. So really good team. And for our team to come out and get uh, as many runs as we were able to get early off of uh, Whitney Canyon, I thought that uh, yeah, that was pretty much the, 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 the goal, to get out there and score as many runs as we can because we know what their offense can do and has done. Um, but uh, just give, I, I give our kids a lot of credit. I give Kersey, you know, uh, you know, a huge, huge amount of credit for getting that first, uh, you know, that first hit. And then obviously they, they made a mistake, and I think that we were able to capitalize that, getting a two-out hit by, uh, by Bailey in the gap. And, um, you know, just can't say enough about the, the job. Hannah just went out there and challenged the strike zone and really, you know, really, really pitched well with all pitches. And uh, defensively, I mean, we made some really nice plays. And you know, that's what you expect. We, we practice hard. Um, you know, our routine, we changed up our routine from being here as many times as we had. And I really felt like our players came in confident, come, uh, calm, under control. We, we warmed up very well. And, uh, you know, uh, how about a, a freshman with her first at bat at the College World Series off of one of her former high school teammates hitting a, a grand slam? I think that was uh, some good stuff. Yeah, Tommy D's with the Gainesville Sun. Uh, Tim, can you talk about what you talked about what their offense can do? What about what your offense is doing lately? Um, you've got, I think, five mercy rules in the in the postseason. What what has gotten this uh, team cranking like that? Well, I think the Georgia loss really humbled us a lot, and we had to go back and reevaluate kind of our offensive approach and um, not just one hitter, but top to bottom. Uh, we really went back and took, spent a couple of days kind of uh, evaluating where we were at and, and what we. Um, what we're capable of, and we've really done a better job of, of, of hitting the ball on the ground. We've done a lot better job of hitting more line drives. We've got enough bunts. We don't have too many, but we have enough. And um, we've gone to the slap a lot more. You can see you know, a lot of our hitters going to that. And um, I, I just think it's been that. It's more more that. Our preparation for, for, for Washington was probably as good a job by, by our coaching staff as we've ever done. We spent hours upon hours upon hours preparing for them because, um, you know, to be quite honest, I thought they were probably – uh, maybe a little bit better than we were. You know, they had some tools, they had some players that were, were really, really good, and we needed to figure out what we could do to neutralize that. And I, I just, again, give our kids credit for, for all their hard work and, uh, and, and dedication to a plan. Chris Harry with Gators on hand. Did you speak to last year, the first inning was not a good first inning for you, but talk about just being able to play from uphill versus from downhill, you know? Um, I think just the way that I've been pitching lately has given me that confidence to just go out there and shut it down. And also the, our, how good our offense is doing right now as well. That just allows you to just go out and have fun and just do what you do. Aubrey, what kind of stuff did she have, though, from the beginning? Uh, it's been great the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> Ever since postseason, Hannah's kind of had that look in her eye. You know, she's been really focused, been getting really good work into the pens. And so she's been bringing it every day, and it was no different today. Hannah, how are you different as a pitcher and how you think about pitching from when you were here that first time as a freshman? Um, I think my freshman year, I like, you know, you're just, it's just, the, you're here for like the experience and you're just having a good time. And also it's your first time here. So there's a lot of nerves there. And this year I've been here, it's my third time being here. So I'm just trying to be really confident and just try to be there for my teammates and just allow them to feel like they're at home here. Kirsty, what's gotten into your bat? <laughs> I think it really has to do with the slapping. It's really making my swing very smooth. It's just changed everything. What have you done differently, though, with it? So in terms of just anything, any kind of adjustments with that slap or anything? No, it hasn't. It hasn't. It just changes my mechanics, I guess. I just really just went to the slap, and it, and it makes me see the ball better. It makes me hit the ball better than when I'm just regular standing in. And Chelsea, you just hit a grand slam walk off in the College World Series. That stuff that, you know, when you're eight years old, is that something you dream about? 
Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, I just went up there with a clear mind and I was calm, was going to let the nerves get a hold of me. And I just, when I saw a good pitch, I took a hack at it. How many times have you faced that pitcher before? Um, I actually used to play with her in high school, so I've faced her quite a lot in practice. And so, I mean, I wasn't going to let that get to me, but yeah. Finally, Tim, you talked about adjustments that you made coming here from what had happened before. Can, can you elaborate on it a little bit? We just changed our, our, our routine. You know, we've, um, We've we've gone through you know we've stayed at the same hotel we've um, you know we've done a lot of different things um, but this time we you know, we got off the plane on Monday night after a long day on Sunday and um, instead of coming here and you know going ah oh, you know well, well we'll take the day off and we'll practice we went up and had dinner and got all the got everybody out of the the, the hotel room and went and hit and um, you know we've we've kind of got our own thing going at the hotel we've got a nice breakfast station for us and. Just um, it just it feels like we're in a, a, at another SEC road trip. You know we've got to kind of kind of keeping it simple a little bit, and you know and to, to comment on what Kirsty said, the, her slap is brand new. She has not done it, so that's what she's saying. It's it's really helped her smooth her hands out and feel and see the ball. It's just it's something brand new that she's never done before. John Warner, Waco Tribune Herald. This for Chelsea. Um, have you known Heather a long time? Have y'all stayed in touch? Uh, um, I mean, yeah, we've stayed in touch. You know, we text every now and then, congratulate each other about going to the World Series and the successes that we've had. But that's pretty much all that we've had. We haven't really had time to see each other because we're so far away. I'm in Florida and she's in Waco. But, I mean, we stay in touch and we communicate. And what kind of pitch did you get there? Was it what you were looking for? It was something <laughs> looking good. It was <laughs> down the middle, something looking good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely what I was looking for. <laughs> Kirsty, can you talk about the team offense and, and what it's been doing in the postseason? I know there were times during the regular season that this team wasn't as explosive. What do you see happening for, for the whole team offensively? We're really working together. We're really um, – Bailey just put down her first – I think it's her first squeeze bunt or maybe one of her first ever bunts. Um, just be able to do that, to have our, one of our power hitters come and do that to really get our offense going, that's – we're really just working together. Uh, Pete LaFleur, college softball 360. Coach, I, I know you were a, a, a college baseball player. I was an SID for many years in college baseball, and there's so many differences between the two sports, and uh, one of them being how the bracketing is set up, and you come back and play tomorrow, <coughs> whereas um, in college baseball, you're, you're, you're rewarded for winning by usually having a day off and things. Like that. I imagine with the way your offense is performing right now that you, you like the concept of coming right back and, and playing, but if you could just talk about about that and maybe some – uh, the, the differences between the two sports. Yeah, I mean, being at the College World Series as a player twice, um, you know, the first time we were there and we won the championship, we were, it seemed like we were there forever um, and really enjoyed it. I mean, we, we did a lot of cool things. And, um, you know, coming here, we, you, you know what the expectations are. You know, we're, uh, you, play, you play quick, and we've done that a lot. I mean, that's the one thing I, I tell our, when I do my weekly, you know, interviews is that typically in the sport of softball you don't have a lot of time to enjoy the successes of your wins you have to really get back and prepare quickly um, I wish we would we'd spread this out a little bit longer but understand that you know the, the the timing the demographics of television and the you know the fans themselves but um, you know, just go with it and try to figure out how to make you know if, they, if it was over two weeks we probably would find something wrong with that I think the system that we have in place right now is as good as it can be and gives these you know these athletes a, a great opportunity to um, see a lot of people in the stands and see themselves on TV and it's just it's our moment you know I think that's the cool thing is you know it's, it happens before baseball starts their regionals and their super regionals and their World Series so it's softball's moment and I think it's pretty special. Murray Evans from the AP coach earlier this morning they announced this tournament's going to be here till like 2035 um, just kind of get your reaction for that. Well, the dugout that I was in today made me excited. It's here till 2035. So, I've been here six times and have never had an opportunity to to go into a bathroom and change and put sunscreen on and do all those things. So, uh, what they've done already, I know it's baby steps, but um, it is it is is awesome. It's really the dugout we had is is awesome. I mean, it's comfortable. It's um, in the old dugout. We're all tied up together. You know, it's just really really tied. It, I love it. Congratulations for, for till 2035 for Oklahoma City. <laughs> Tim, when Bailey got the double or early on, got to, got to third on the throw, you were really, really animated there at that point. Was that about the moment or about the kid? It's about getting funnel cake. <laughs> 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 Told that kid if she got a hit, we're going to get her funnel cake. That's what it was about right there. It was a hug and, you know, said it into her ear, funnel cake, and she fired up. <laughs> Anything else? 
All right, thank you. Looking for a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount on all regular price bats on the website. That's right, $30 discount. Just text the word fast pitch to 555-888 and Gary will send you a discount code good for $30 off your next softball bat at softballjunk.com. FYI, that code's also good at the Arlington, Texas store. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.